we have our lexicons here in the analysis window, but you can also create your own lexicon. And that's by clicking on the user lex tab. Now I put your cursor on a word. Notice, notice in this section right here as I move my cursor in the browse window. Notice that it changes. And also if I do it in English as well. This here is a is an editor here. So I can go here the word face and I can just type this is gibberish, but I can just type things in there. And uh, now I come back and I'm moving around here, different words. I come back to face, and there's my lexicon. So if you're doing conducting word studies, you can go and enter your information here in the lexicon. It's always going to appear there. So this is your own lexicon. And you can create this you know, uh, Greek, Hebrew, English. Um, so that information can be put in there. And that you can put in there, you can type in English, you can uh, type in Greek, in Hebrew, it's, it has the same functionality as what our BioWorks editor does. You can copy and paste into there as well. So, so if you want, you can, take, you can copy some of the lexicon entries, paste them in there, and edit them as you wish. And if you want to add verse lists in there, you can do that. Make comments on the verses. So that's a great place to put your word study information. Okay. Any questions on that? What a powerful, uh, powerful tool. Uh, similar to that would be our Notes tab. The, uh, the Notes tab has two options. Uh, on this box here, uh, by default it's checked as chapter. So these would be chapter notes. So let me uh, put this across to you. You can see here, this here is the, the path where my files are kept. Notice here is Genesis 1 is the file name. I have it set as chapter. Now, if I uncheck that, now it goes Genesis and then it's 1 underscore 2, since I'm in Genesis 1 2. Now, this would be a verse note for Genesis 1 2. So, anything I, I type in here at Genesis 1 2, and I have it set here to auto load. That's by default, it's turned on, so it automatically loads whenever I come back to this verse. So, that means I'm back to Genesis 1 1, and I had a note already started here, so something. Go back to Genesis 1 2. And there we go, my note is still there. It's always going to appear there. No matter what version I have in the browse window, no matter what my search version is, this is tied to that verse. Or for a chapter note, it's tied to that chapter. So and you can type in here in Greek and Hebrew, uh, put in here pictures, uh, all sorts of things. You can copy and paste material into here, and it's going to persist and, and stay there for you. So this is, this is great, say so you're going verse by verse down through passages, this is a great way to take notes. And that, that link to save, is that only if you want to save it as something else externally? Save. Um, well, well, you do have a save as button here as well. That's a save as, okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a save file as. If you okay. want to save it somewhere else, you can do that. You can, but you can also copy and paste and you know, things like that. It's going to save it the minute you type it in, it's saved. Yes. Until uh -huh. you clear it somehow. Yes. So yeah, it's it's set by default to, to auto save. Um, whenever you whenever you switch the verses, we'll save it. Oh. Oh, that's the editor. Okay, the editor I don't have to auto save. Okay, the, the notes it does. Okay. Uh, the editor has the same functionality, but it's not tied into a chapter or verse. Okay. Uh, but the same tools. In fact, this here, there's a little button here, all buttons. There's all sorts of things, and we're not really going to be able to cover all of that. Okay. We want to look through the, the help file on that. Right. But uh, lots of different things can be done in there. Um, some of this is just you know word processing type tools, you know, indentations, outlining, and coloring, and things like that. Um, but you can set this up for automatically saving files if you wish. Though I don't for the editor. This is my own. This is my little uh, temporary storage area for when I'm copying and pasting things. But you can go here to, to save file, save as. Um, save it as a, like an RTF file, you can open it in Microsoft Word, format it nicely, things like that. So the editor is good for temporary places, good for making topical studies, things like that. Now, do you have to starting work to glitch on sets um, um, certain proceed um, to the things from other windows to this window in order to print it out, or how does that work? Like, or can you print from separate windows simultaneously, or how does that Not work? really, no. Oh, okay. uh, you're you're going to want to clock it into a place, and the editor would be a great place to do that. Oh, okay. so I don't know. This is Windows, I don't know if it's... Uh, for this right here? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's for the editor. The editor window, window for that one, okay. Yeah, yeah it's just for that. Um, do you have any other print? 
Yeah, it's more for exporting rather than printing for me because there's not really a lot of uh, not a lot of formatting options in there. It's, it's really for a display within the program itself. So, uh, but yeah, you can copy you know text in here and print from there. Going back to the um, user lexicon for a minute, does that? Um, does a report generator function affect it? Does not. It does not, unfortunately, not this one. Okay. It does not appear there. That would, that would be a great addition. <laughs> yes. But it does for the chapter verse notes. Yes. Yes. We'll get we'll get the report generator very briefly. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, so you have your, your chapter and verse notes that are in here, and so these are all, so say you, you have notes that you did, you know, six months ago, and uh, now you want to bring them all together into a document. So you, say you've worked on, uh, you know, Genesis, and now you want to bring them all together, you're done with your work, or you're doing a Sunday school class, or preparing a message, or something like that, class notes. You want to bring them together. Well, you don't want to go verse by verse and copy, and you don't want to have to do that kind of thing. Um, but there is something, though, called the report generator. There are tools and importing, exporting information. And there you have the report generator. Now, the report generator, it has a, a version listed here at the top. That's going to come in from your, um, your search version. That's really going to specify your versification. Certain, uh, like for example, the Septuagint and the Hebrew Bible have different versification. And if you tell it that you want uh, uh, Psalm 11.2, that may be different from what Hebrew text to the Septuagint text. So that's why it's specifying, here's the version I want, and now here's the verses I want. So I'm going to put in a range here. Uh, I'm gonna, it's not going to matter if it's in Septuagint or Genesis, so I'll leave it that way. Genesis 1, 1, and 2. So just two verses, but I have two verse notes there. Um, but it could, it could be, you know, a whole book. Um, and then the, you can choose what if you want, including lexicon entry information. So I'm going to scroll down here, and uh, I'm just going to choose holidays since it's short, short entries. Now, include versions. I don't want to include all these versions in my report. I'm just going to include, um, uh, let's see, the PSB, the BGT, and the WTT. And then analyzing these, these Greek or Hebrew texts, okay? I'm just going to put in here the BGT and WTT, or BGM and WTM, I guess. Now, what does that mean, analyze these texts? Analyzing, it's going to look through at the, uh, the morphology and the lemmas that are there. It's going to analyze those. Okay. So it's going to see what information is contained, because now I'm, I'm not only going to put out just, if you look here at the report options, you can include lexicon entries, so I'm going to check that. I'm going to include chapter notes. I'm going to include my verse notes. And morphological analysis. You can put morphological analysis in here as well. Okay. You can bring all this together from out of these verses. Okay. So there's lots of content you can put in here. Um, so now I'm going to click build report. Let's try this again. Okay, so very top here, so Genesis started Genesis 1.1. Okay, so here I have my, I, I told it to bring in the BGT, the ESV, and the WTT. So I have my Greek, English, and Hebrew. Now, next it's going to bring in chapter notes, but I don't have a chapter note for it. I didn't write a chapter note for Genesis 1. But I do have a verse note here, and it has the little section heading. That's the section heading. So there's my note. That's all I had in my note. Not much, but it's a note. Then below that is the morphological analysis. I had it now analyze the Septuagint and Hebrew. So here it's, first of all, it's analyzing, that is, it's giving all the parsing information for the Greek text. Then it goes through and it does the morphological analysis for the Hebrew text. As I specified, I wanted to now analyze the Hebrew text. So here it's giving all of your parsing information and limits for that. Okay, it brings it all together. Then here it has the lexicon entries for all the words in those verses. So I specified Danker, and uh, here's all these entries for it. 
So all this is brought together. And then you come down here, here's the Hebrew now, here's holiday. So here's all the Hebrew information, lexicon entry information. And there's a report for that. Now, if you just want to have just your verse notes, I'll close this one here. Uh, we talked, we're talking about your verse and chapter notes. I wouldn't necessarily want all the lexicon entries. I'm going to uncheck that. And I don't want the morphological analysis. And uh, now I'm going to build my report. And all I had really was a, oh, I, I guess I deleted my Genesis 2 note, 1, 2. But, but here's my verse note for Genesis 1. Now, if I have a bunch of notes, it's going to keep pulling them all together. It's going to have your verse text and all of your different notes are going to be in there. I think you just don't have Genesis 2 selected. You've got colon instead of a down. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Um, Okay, one, one, two, one, two. Okay, let's try that again. Thank you. Okay, so here then is my verse note here for for Genesis one, and then my verse note for Genesis two. But you have lengthy information in there, and I included all the verses. You don't have to include any of the verse information or any of the version information. So here I I can. Uh, or it says here include Bible text for these versions, I can just remove that. Wow. Okay. And uh, now build my report. And I'm going to take out the section header too. Build my report. And here you go. That was my note I had in Genesis 1.1 and my note in Genesis 1.2. So now I can bring this into Microsoft Word and I can go and format it. Uh, I can remove these graphics. Um, just delete those, select and delete. Then you can go and format that as you wish. So that's, that'll pull, you can pull all of your notes together and bring it into one document and format it. So, so you don't have to do all the copying and pasting. You can just use your report generator to do that. Any questions on that? Sure. If you were writing two different papers and um, you might be touching on the same verses, mm -hmm. then you would save them to different note files. You can. Um, there's a way to do that as well. Um, it's going um, to come in the notating stage. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to close the report generator. Um, you can also set up multiple <coughs> notes. I'm going to click on this button oh, here for okay. all notes. And uh, I'm going to click on this uh, button here, choose notes directory. Okay. Now, I don't know how it is on a Mac. I, after Tyree and I were looking at this earlier, I don't know where Mac, where you can save your files. And you know, Mark, I, where you have to set the note directories. The Mac kind of makes a little Windows tree within. Oh, okay. So I would say it would probably be best to kind of stay within that structure. Okay. Um, kind of as it's given, just slightly, you know, maybe add your own folder within that. Okay. Yeah, it's probably safe. Stay it'd probably be safe, safe there. Windows, you, can, you have a lot of room you can put it all over the place on the computer. Um, I, I personally did put it at mine under documents. By default, it's under program files, under Bible works and notes, notes. That's where it's located. But I, I put it under my own Bible works files. And I have all sorts of notes here. I have notes. I created one for basic devotional, one for dissertation things, one for general notes, one for uh, gospel, one for NTI, uh, one for sermon notes, and one for training, which is what I have selected right now, okay. training notes. So you can create different notes folder. And you can choose which one you want. So if I choose, say, sermon notes, and click OK, it'll change to that. OK. So I'm going to select training. And if you want a new one, there's also a button here, make a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder for it. So in this case, if you're, if you're covering the same book, say Genesis, and you're having two different papers or something, you can create a separate notes and, ha and have two different sets of Genesis notes. You can do that. So. I just click OK, and it, so now the current document would not be saved and closed. And uh, so it, it didn't change anything because I didn't actually change the directory, but it, but it will. It'll close the notes and open up the other other folders. OK? Yeah. Okay, so whichever one is selected there is what's going to be used in the report generator. Yes. OK. Now, um, one thing I do want to show here in the, the notes here. 
is searching on things. Did you want to say you want to search within your own notes? Oh, man. That was my next question. Oh, okay. All right. Not very good. Um, there is a button right here, find in files. This will search in note files. Um, I don't know if it searches in chapter. Yeah, I don't think it does. I think it's just your version, your version notes. But you can search in here, and I don't have much to search for. Let's, let's search for here. And click find. And by the way, here you can search search path and what, in no what folder you're going to find. And yeah, I, make like oh, I did find a couple of notes them. Okay. Folder, like a second notes folder. Okay, I did have a few different ones. Okay. In there. Um, you could... Oh, that's right, I did have a couple of different oh, ones. Okay, so then I can go and I can so select the verse, and because I have an auto load, it'll actually navigate. My note my is actually changing, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just I'm selecting, changing the, the file there. So you can see at the top it changed it when I, I did that. So, so yeah, that's how you can then search and find you know, your notes that have certain content. Now, um, notice here at the bottom, export versus to search window. That's first notes only. So you can actually search within all of them, but you're you're exporting your verses to the verse to the search window over here. Oh. Okay. That has that has another purpose on uh, the report generator. And uh, I'm gonna click cancel after I did that. Because I can now create say I'm say I'm searching, I have notes that have uh, Right here, it's the word here. Okay, that's, that's this list of verses. It's really really uh, profound. <laughs> but, uh, but now what I'm going to do, I am going to open tools. We haven't we haven't dealt with this this uh, tool yet, but the verse list manager. So I selected the verse list manager, and now I am going to import the entire search window verse list. So here's my list of verses. Okay, and now I'm going to, I'm going to file and I'm going to save this. I'm going to save, I'm going to, since I already have a test one, I'm going to do test two. And it's dot VLS is the extension on it, okay? You're going to have to remember that too. So let's go save. Okay, and I'm going to close this now. Now I'm going to go to the report generator. Um, tools, import, and report generator. And now here where it says range, I'm going to type test2.vls. Mm. All right. <laughs> and you want that uh, that file, that verse list you saved, go into the default directory. Okay. Don't change your where your location is, or you're not going to find your file here. So you, you put that in here. That is different. Like I, before, I typed Genesis 1, 1 through 1, 2. You can type full ranges. Remember how we did we did uh, search limits. Yes. You know, I can loop, semicolon, axe. Yes. Well, you can do the same thing here. In this case, I'm putting in a, a verse list. I don't have to type out every single one of the verses because they're all over the place. Well, in this case, Genesis 1, 2, 3, and 4, but they could be all over the place. It has to be one version. Okay, so, so I have that, and I'm chapter and verse notes. Uh, I don't want to include all of these. I'm going to, it populates automatically from the browse window. And then, uh, I really don't want to analyze, but you know, we're not doing any of that. So it's chapter verse notes, build my report, and let's see what we get. And there it is. So there's my report. I have all the notes that contain the word here. So that's how you can pull in specified, you know, specified notes. Okay? Now you can tag your notes topically. So here you're searching for keywords, but what happens? Like notes Genesis 3 once is tagged. Okay, I'm going to close yeah. these things here. So, I'm going to go to Genesis 3.1, and there's my note. But uh, if I want to search for, I want to create a topical database, I may want to put a bracket around certain words. You know, say, okay, couldn't find hope before. I'm going to add hope here. <laughs> the tab, hope, and another another bracket. So that's a tag. So like a Thompson chain reference Bible, you have certain topics that you're going through. You can do that in your notes. So this is a note that deals with a topic of hope uh, or you know divinity of Christ or whatever. But be very consistent with your tags. Because now go back and search for bracket hope. 
And you'll find and do the verse list and do your report generator, bring in all of your verses and do them that topic. So you can do that as well. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm trying to sure. understand why you would the advantage of, of putting the brackets around it and rather than just like the search for here if you did more. Well, if, if you Say you don't want to find the word hope in your notes, but you want to find the, the topic tagging. So you may have, you may be talking about hope in there, but there's no word hope that we found in Luke. Oh, you know, certainly Luke talks okay. about hope, but it's not. I see. The word isn't there. I see. Uh, but here, but then you're specifying this is about hope. I see. Okay. So you can do that. That's it. It's a, you might put in eschatology, but you're never actually writing the word eschatology in what you're yes. writing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. Yep. And it could be lots of different things. Say it's a note for uh, uh, Bible 101. Hmm. For, for a class, you put that in brackets. Bible 101. This is that class note. You do that. Now you can search for all your notes for Bible 101. Yeah, anything like that. Or you can type a sermon. This is a sermon note. So you can put a bracket sermon instead of creating a different note directory. Right. So you can do that kind of thing as well. Because most people aren't really going to create that many notes that they need lots of different directories. You might, but maybe not. This way you differentiate them. So, so you're tagging within the note? Within the note, yes. Yeah, some, somewhere in the note. Okay. Anywhere, anywhere. It could be at the very bottom, it could be at the very top. Anywhere anywhere you wish. Because it, it'll find it within those files when you do your search. Okay. And it can have more than one tag. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anything you want. This is this is free form. You can, you can type it. Like I have the word tag, I have the word hope within brackets, because then you're going to want to search for bracket or bracket. Just make sure that you're very consistent. Um, you don't want, uh, you know, bracket, hope, bracket, and then bracket, hopes, bracket, or you're not going to find it. You know, when you search, it's got to be very consistent. In fact, you may want to keep a list of your tags. So, of course, you can always search for bracket, I guess. Find all of them. <laughs> <laughs> 